I'm a first year comm major at UCSB. How do you define gender? Um, I define gender as the, it's the way you portray yourself to other people, like the sex that you identify with but may not have been born with. Has your definition of gender changed since attending UCSB? Yes, because I actually didn't know that definition of gender until I got here. Or like, I didn't know the definition, like, the difference between sex and gender until I got to UCSB. And what gender do you identify with? I identify as being a female. Do you think that you have any privilege identifying as this gender? Um, yes, because I think others view me the way I want to be seen and it like it's not something I have to work at because like I'm obviously a female and that's what I identify with so it's very easy for me to just present myself or just have privileges as a female. Do you have any examples of how you think this gender has helped or hindered you? Um. I think it can be hindering because like as a cisgender female like you often get like catcalled and stuff or like people look down at you or there's also like we still get paid less than men do and then um helped I think sometimes you can just use being a girl as a defense kind of like oh like you did this wrong well I'm a girl like I didn't know <laughs> Um, also, in ways it's helped, just I think as like, what I said before, like identifying yourself as a female, you don't have to try harder or explain anything about your gender to other people, whereas other people who are not born female have to. And how do you think this privilege differs from someone who doesn't identify as cisgender? Um, I think... People who don't identify as cisgender, so this is like if you're born female and like you identify as male, right? Okay. Um, well, I think a very simple thing, but like is really important, is like pronouns, which I like have realized that UCSB is like super important. Um, so like as a cisgender, like people obviously like normally get my like pronouns correct, while for like non cisgender people like they have to explain themselves constantly or like people may not respect their pronouns and not like give them the privilege of calling them what they identify with so i think that's a privilege i have amazing thank you ah oh, you're welcome